In this video, I am going to explain to you how to draw a fractal. You can see the fractal. These are fractals occurring in nature. A fractal is a never-ending pattern. Fractals are infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. Can you see the self-similar? In this, the fern tree, it occurs in nature, it occurs in broccoli, for example, in some vegetables, in some mollusks like snails. These are all patterns which are called fractals. I'm going to tell you how to draw a fractal using a Desmos calculator. So take your Desmos calculator and start typing f of z. So look at this pattern. I'm going to tell you how to develop this pattern. f of z is equal to put a bracket z dot x square minus z dot y square plus x comma put 2z dot xz dot y plus y. Please look at the first row. So that is the general function f of z. Then we are going to take d of z. d of z is equal to the square root of z x square plus z y square. Now once you define these two, then let's go to the main graph. In the main graph, which is the third line shown, it is d of bracket f of bracket again and then put one more bracket x comma y close the bracket equal to 2. Now this is the pattern in which you are going to get that green line the green circle or the green shape which you got. Now this is the pattern which we want to repeat. So you go to the next row and put d of now put f of f. So function of a function f of f. This is called as recursive pattern. So we are going to talk about recursive pattern in which we have f of f. x comma y, now close the brackets, equal to 2. Again, go back. After completing this, you will get now the second line, the red part. Now you are going to get the blue part by repeating f of f of f. That means function of a function of a function. How many functions now? three functions. You may do this process endlessly. You can, this is called as a recursive approach. So fractal is a rough or a fragmented geometric shape get, that can be split into parts, each of which is a reduced size copy of the whole, a reduced size copy of the whole, a property called as self-similarity. The term fractal was coined by a mathematician called Mandelbrot, Mandelbrot, it is spelt Mandelbrot in 1975 and was derived from the Latin fractus. Fractus means broken or fractured. So mathematical fractal is based on an equation that undergoes iteration. So the, the, pro, the method of doing the same thing again and again is called iteration. So finally, it has the following features. It has a fine structure at arbitrary small scales. It is very irregular to be plotted by a simple Euclidean geometric shape. So you can't just write an equation like x square plus y square is equal to 2 or something like that. It is a little complicated and that is the equation which I have shown. It is self-similar, means the same pattern keeps repeating. It is simple and recursive. Now, because these appear similar in all levels of magnification, fractals are often considered to be very complex. Natural objects that are approximated by fractals to a degree include the concept of clouds, the concept of clouds, mountain ranges, lightning bolts, coastlines, snowflakes, even vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower or animal coloration patterns. These are all fractals. So you can see now how this shape is developing. Now if there is a way of copying and pasting the function, it will be much easier. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that feature. Probably it is there. I didn't try hard enough. But if you can do that, then you can keep on adding a function, more and more functions to get complex patterns. So finally, clouds are not spheres. Mountains are not cones. Coastlines are not circles and bark is not smooth. 
nor does lightning travel in a straight line. They are all fractal geometry in nature. As you can see, these are infinitely complex patterns. So, and these are got by equations. These equations are called chaotic equations. So, if you divide a fractal pattern into parts, you get a nearly identical reduced size copy of the whole. The mathematical beauty of fractals is that infinite complexity is formed with relatively simple equations. By iterating or repeating, fractals generate equations many times. Random outputs create beautiful patterns that are unique yet recognizable. Now, you see these patterns in broccoli. These are ge generated math behind the beauty. These are delta, river deltas and finally, the growth pattern which is a Fibonacci sequence. Thank you for watching. Good luck.